The air of the Ottoman domination was difficult. The Byzantine Empire was in a state of disarray. It's a period of persecution and slaughter. There were great difficulties in educating the people. There were, however, personalities who made effective preparations for the revolution. Of course, we need to interpret history, taking theology into consideration. These personalities were Greek, Orthodox, of deep faith, and with true Orthodox theology. A group of men formed who longed for the revival of the Greek nation. They fled to Venice or to Yassi, where there were thriving Greek communities. There was a general trend in favor of Greeks being educated, looking to the hope of a revival. Let me perish, so long as the nation can be saved. We see the heads of the Orthodox Church throughout the world, all working together. It's true that the core of the sacred order during the revolution was made up of students of the Academy of Yassi. In the middle of the 18th century, the monastery of Vatopedi founded the Athoniada Academy. Young men flocked from all over the known world in order to get an education. Educating the people created a reversal of the status quo in the Ottoman Empire. The glorious past is Saint Gerasimus and Saint Kyrillos Lukaris, the great patriarchs of Hellenism and Orthodoxy. Perhaps from that period of history, we might be taught exactly how to approach God. <laughs>